If you are driving around mid Michigan, you might notice lawns looking a bit longer than usual. Both East Lansing and Jackson are taking part in what they call No Mow May. It's an effort to help out the environment. Luke Snyder is here for now and shows us one group who is most excited to be a part of the effort. Justin Fairchild has hundreds of thousands of friends buzzing around his backyard. It's really fun to see how your colony grows. You know, they become like a pet to you. It's part of his role as a beekeeper to eight hives, something he says is needed now more than ever. There's been about a 70% decline in their populations over the last 20 years, and without bees it becomes immensely more difficult for our food supplies. Their pollination provides you know, one to two thirds of our food. To help, Fairchild hasn't cut his grass in more than a year. He says it's all to make sure there's more food for these bees to go around, especially this month. It's crucial for pollinators in general because these first, this first month while there's the growing season, all they really have to eat is dandelions to get their nectar or pollen. Fairchild is also working to get conservatories like this set up around Jackson County, while also teaching people how they can take care of and adopt a hive. It's a project that he hopes not only creates sustainability in a stronger environment, but also one that encourages others in the community to take up beekeeping. It benefits the whole area. Bees tend to cover a three mile radius from their hive, so it's gonna, you're gonna see a lot more flowers. You're gonna see a lot prettier flowers. Um, as far as agriculture goes, if there's hives on the property or they're getting pollinated, um, not only do you see an increase in quantity of your produce or product, you also see better quality because they've gotten those pollinators. So for now, Fairchild has a message. Don't mow your lawns. And in the process, help out these small but important friends. We need to do better. We can be better. Here for you in Jackson County, Luke Snyder, 6 News. Well, stay tuned. Kendall's back after this break with another look at your six-day forecast. You're watching.